All right, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back to some more Fallout New Vegas here. Um, last time, um, last episode, we were doing some more stuff with uh, Sergeant Reyes, delivering some more uh, reports to some of the ranger stations in the wasteland. And today, we're gonna head on over to Camp Golf. Um, golf cart there. What used to be a golf cart? Let's see, it looks like Hanlon's gonna be up there. Definitely quite green around here. Pun intended. I'm just so full of puns. Like, seems like there's gonna be a door right over there. Oh, it's so beautiful. That armor and the helmet just makes it so grand. Um, assume that's where it is. I assume that's where he is. I hope. Nope. Guess not. Where is he? You saved pre you saved President Kimball, didn't you? That was a thing. Mm, I'll see he's up there. Almost looks like the house in Point Lookout. No, nope. can't go up there. Patrolling. You should talk. All right, so that's where he is. That would definitely explain things quite a bit better. Now as soon as I can actually find where the said balcony is. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Loading screen, loading screen. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. 
drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now, what can I do for you? Interesting that she would wrangle someone else into sorting out the problem. But I suppose you're in the right place. A lot of intel comes through here. I don't know Technical Sergeant Reyes, but coordinating intel can be messy sometimes. Things get mixed up, people get confused. Heck, I get confused, and I've been doing this for a long time now. What he or she sees as a problem might be standard operating procedure. That's not to say Reyes is wrong for being concerned, but it's easy for the sand to get in your eyes out of here. It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Comm rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I or one of the other rangers on duty organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. Comm rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. Shoot. Hold on. If we're gonna have this conversation, let's go somewhere more private. Don't worry, not much bite left in this old dog. Speak to his chief Hanlon in his office. I don't even know what's gonna happen, so most people are gonna be just about as surprised as I am about it. Stairs. It's what rangers are supposed to do. This job isn't all gunfighting and gulping shots of whiskey, no matter what the boys and ladies out there say. You have, have you? Misdirection. When you're pinned down, outnumbered, and two days from any help, it's just about the best friend you can have. Misdirection's what saved me all these years. It's what saved us at Hoover Dam. But it's been five years now, and Caesar's right across that lake. He's closer now than he ever was before. I was a young man once. I know what it's like to want to fight for your home. But this isn't it. It's never gonna end, this fight with Caesar. People back home don't know what these young men and women are in for. The Legion is the worst enemy we've ever faced. 
But we can't stop Caesar here. Not without getting a lot of good people killed. More than anyone cares to count up. But even if we do stop him, I don't see how we're ever going to be able to pull out. We're fighting on their behalf, but Mr. House and the families are stringing us up inch by inch. They'll drain us dry while we fight and die over this dam. We offered them sanctuary in NCR territory before, but they won't listen. Troopers and rangers have been dying here for more than five years while the families sit pretty behind that damn wall. People back home don't listen. They don't care. Senators, Brahmin barons, folks who are just trying to make it from day to day. It's been so many years that people forget about it. Conscription brings in fresh troops that die here every month, like a true team. And even if we hold this dam, what then? Are we gonna send the NCR's men and women to die here for another five years? Ten? Patrol the whole length of the Colorado for hundreds of miles? Holding this dam, it'll be the death of us. Creating fear and instability among the troopers without causing harm. It's the only thing I could think of to shake things up. It took some people getting killed to realize I'd gone too far. I had to stop. First thing that comes to mind is to turn me in. But that might not be the best play, all things considered. Even if your heart's in the right place, I reckon it might do a lot more harm than good. Oliver can't stand that Rangers got credit for victory at Hoover. Whatever I recommend, he does the opposite. I said I wanted us on the ridge. He put them right on the western part of the dam itself. We don't have enough firepower to hold that spot. If the troopers fall back, and they will, the Rangers will advance to cover Oliver's retreat. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. It's a gamble either way. Even with Caesar gone, we still might not outlast the Legion. I suppose that's a risk I'll have to take. For our sake, I hope you're right. I guess that I should thank you for bringing me to my senses. So, uh, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna walk out that door and pretend we never had this talk. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Uh, check here. I just want to look at the wiki a bit more. Hmm. hmm. All right. So, yeah, I think I did my choice there. Uh, according to the wiki, pretty much it was mattered if I pretty much chose either one. Uh, where was I going to go? Uh, I wanted to go back to Forlorn Hope. Uh, talk to Reyes about all that jazz. As I think it does play into a part from which where um, in the next quest that I would like to do for the NCR. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to talk to the Major. Well, we'll talk to Reyes first about it. Yeah, I didn't want to kill the guy. He seemed like a nice guy. Hey, 
What did Chief Hanlon have to say about those false reports we uncovered? The Chief? But he's a legend. Well, I guess if he's got a plan behind it all, who am I to question it? I won't say a word about it to anyone else. Alright. Uh, this guy. I heard about how you saved the President's life. It's a good thing that you were there. Things could have turned out really ugly. I've got the Legion at Nelson breathing down my neck and not enough men or supplies to get this camp into fighting shape so we can strike back. I need someone to talk to a few of the officers and help them resolve some of the problems around here. If I can get this place in order, then I can focus our efforts on taking back Nelson from the Legion. And the more that gets done around here, the more resources I'll be able to put into assaulting Nelson. Good. Let's not waste time then. Our biggest problems right now are supplies and troops, and the Legion is draining us both. Quartermaster Mays has been complaining to me non-stop about the lack of supplies. But unfortunately, we aren't getting a resupply anytime soon. I want you to speak with him and see if there's anything you can do for him. All right. Um That's where we need to go? No. Uh, no, the other side. Maze. I can't sleep there. Hello? Alright, wake up, bud. If it isn't the guy that saved President Kimball, we owe you a big debt of gratitude. If Kimball died, I don't know what would have happened. So, the Major has you running errands for him. Well, we're short on personnel as well as supplies, so we'll take all the help we can get. The Major let me send out some troops to gather supplies, but unfortunately they never returned. I'm guessing they ran into some trouble on the way. You can help by finding the troops and assisting them in bringing back any supplies they found. I sent them to Helios 1 to see if they had any supplies they could spare. They gotta be somewhere between here and there. I'd try searching the main road or checking with the men at Helios 1 to see if they know anything. Hmm. Go to Helios 1. Hmm. Interesting. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Hmm. Interesting. I will eventually do that. Uh, let's see, about, it's about 15 minutes in the video. Uh, no, no, actually five. Um, next time we'll continue on, we'll do some more NCR missions here. Uh, off camera I'll be doing some selling and shit. And buying stuff too as well, because I like to get some more ammo. But, my name is Zertzan, and... I will see you guys.